I welcome you at our self-named live product selection session. We're going to cover a lot of different topics today, including self-named products, self-named product formulas, its claims, certifications, and even more specifically, we're going to talk about the active ingredients that are used in the formulas and how you can communicate them to your audience. We're going to talk about the main dif differences between self-named skincare products. We're going to cover the topic of certification and I will explain what is the key differences between uh, EcoCert organic and natural certification. We'll also talk about the sunscreens and the differences between mineral-based and chemical sunscreens. Then I will also cover the skincare set and I will just give you some examples of skincare sets that you can make out of the self-named products so that you know how you can play around and what you can do with the products that you order and offer to your audience. So I'm your host for today. My name is Ksenia Komachava. I am a certified pharmacist and public lecturer. I find a lot of joy in explaining everything that is connected to skincare and I also love talking about science-based use of plants in skincare and medicine. So I'm also really excited to hold this session today. In our spotlight today is the self-named brand. The self-named was established by true professionals who have been working in the skincare business for 17 years. All of these self-named products are, have acquired the CPNP registration and are also certified by EcoCert. So there is both products that are certified naturally, like they have natural and organic certification by EcoCert. Also, it's important to mention that all of the product formulas are made with high quality natural and organic ingredients and products are made to be universal, so they're suitable for a wide audience. What we're especially proud of is our R&D and manufacturing processes that take place in-house. Uh, it is really important for us because when everything is made in-house, we can control every single step of the product development and manufacturing. So in the end, you get the best possible quality products and you can be really sure that they're made with, with great ingredients, the formulas are truly effective. Lastly, everything is made in EU, in Latvia, and I'm also now sitting in the main office here. So again, just myself getting inspired here. So let's go to our first topic for today, and it's ingredients. And you know that the ingredients are the driving force of the product performance. And what is more important even is the natural ingredients. So natural ingredients are not only the driving force of the performance, they are also much better for our skin than their conventional counterparts. The nature is abundant with different active ingredients that our skin loves. There are such ingredients as hyaluronic acid and aloe vera juice that are both moisturizing and are derived from plants and also biotechnologically. There is microplankton extract, also knows, known as Altramonas extract, that has anti-age properties. And more specific, microplankton extract is responsible for preserving collagen in our skin so that our skin stays youthful for longer. There is such ingredient as cannabidiol that helps to relieve skin dryness and also helps to soothe and calm down our skin. Then there are all kinds of different plant extracts such as sea buckthorn extract that is really well known for promoting skin renewal, including relief of dryness. The plant and berry oils such as blueberry seed oil and argan kernel oil are known to 
be able to smoothen and soften the skin while reducing the roughness. And finally, ginkgo leaf extract or many other plant extracts have strong antioxidant activity and can provide this antioxidant support to skin so that our skin stays youthful for longer and such plants can also condition our skin, which means that the, the texture of our skin gets improved. So overall, I've named these eight ingredients. They are just eight out of a big variety of different ingredients that self-named uses in its formulations. And as you see, there are so many of them, derived from plants, derived from a microorganism via different biotechnological methods or via different laboratory methods. And all of them are in those formulas just to bring the best benefits to, to your skin. And you can see through these ingredients how beneficial and how powerful the nature is. So this gives us a true motivation to keep on using these ingredients as a formulation because we really believe that nature can really unleash this true beauty of our skin and true well-being of our skin. Now, let's delve deeper into the self-named products and we'll start with the skincare products that can be used for face. The first category are the cleansers and the first product that you see is a micellar cleansing water. This product is suitable for all skin types and can be used at best to remove makeup. It also has a really gentle hydrating and soothing formula that is infused with hydrating hyaluronic acid. So I'm sure you will really enjoy this product. And then we have three different cleansing products. The main difference is the skin types that you can use them for. So for normal to oily skin, I would recommend clarifying gel and purifying mousse. For the dry and mature skin that needs a little bit more of care, a little bit more of support, I would recommend gentle cleansing milk. The next category is the toners, and there are two products that self-named offers. The first one is hydrating toner, and this product is suitable for normal to dry and mature skin. It's infused with hyaluronic acid, and it's not only tones the skin, but it also hydrates the skin. The second one is purifying toner, and this product is most suitable for normal to oily skin. It is formulated with a clarifying salicylic acid that will help to clarify your skin, to reduce the pores, to help reduce the breakout. So in the result, this purifying toner will not only tone, but also refresh and clarify your skin. Now, we have moisturizers. There are four moisturizers that self-named offers. All of them have deeply hydrating formulas that are infused with hyaluronic acid, with betaine, with different plant extracts. But what is really important is that each of these four products is suitable for different skin types. So for oily skin, I would go with the oil-free hydrating gel. This gel has an extremely lightweight texture that will deeply hydrate the skin, but in the same time will not add up extra oiliness. For normal to combination skin, I would recommend light moisturizing day cream. It has light texture, a little bit more richer than the oil-free gel, and the normal to combination skin will love it. For the normal to dry skin, I would recommend moisturizing day cream. And for the dry and mature skin, the best product is of course a nourishing rich cream that has rich texture that is formulated with nourishing cocoa and shea butter and berry extract. The next one is a facial oil and this glow facial oil is a really special product. It is formulated with 11 valuable plant oils. So you can see that there's avocado oil, almond oil, borage oil, jojoba, argan oil and many others. And what is special about these organic oils is that they're naturally rich with vitamin E, with antioxidants, with unsaturated fatty acids. So a lot of different nutritious active components that your skin will love. And this glow facial oil will really help to smoothen, to hydrate your skin and really um, bring this beautiful, healthy glow to your skin. The age-defying line consists of two different products. 
It's a hydrating serum and anti-age day cream. Both of these products are formulated with hydrating and firming hyaluronic acid and anti-age microplankton extract that we have already covered in the first topic of today. So the hydrating serum, as normally serums do, has the highest concentration of those firming and anti-age ingredients. So when you use it, it will bring this burst of hydration and this collagen protection to your skin. And anti-age day cream will provide this deep hydration and it will also help to enhance the effects of the serum. There are two eye creams that self-named offers. One is a brightening eye cream that is suitable for tired looking eye zone. It is formulated with anti-fatigue herbal extracts and hydrating hyaluronic acid. So as a result, this brightening eye cream will help to reduce signs of morning puffiness and dark circles and help your eye area become revived again. This moving eye cream is suit suitable for maturing eye zone. It is formulated with firming hyaluronic acid and softening ceramides and this smoothening eye cream will help to hydrate your skin and smoothen the wrinkles to really promote this youthfulness of your skin. We also have two CBD products that you might enjoy. The first one is CBD eye cream that is suitable for all skin types and it's formulated with cannabidiol and hydrating hyalur hyaluronic acid. This eye cream will soften and hydrate your skin and also reduce morning puffiness and dark circles. The CBD oil booster is also formulated with the soothing cannabidiol and hemp seed oil. So this CBD oil booster can be used either on its own, directly on the skin or mixed with your favorite face moisturizer. And this CBD oil booster will help to soothe and improve the appearance of dry and dull looking skin. Boosters are the products that will really take your skincare routine to the next level. There are two that self-named offers. One of them is caffeine gel boosters that are suitable for all skin types. As the coffee does to us when we try to wake up, this caffeine gel booster will really wake up your skin and wake up your complexion. So if you use it directly onto your skin or if you use it with your favorite eye or face moisturizer and apply it on your face, you will see how this caffeine gel booster helps to reduce morning puffiness, reduce dark circles and afterwards your skin and you yourself feel more energized. You can also mix a few drops of this caffeine gel booster to your favorite body moisturizer and use it to smoothen the cellulite affected skin. Another option is a ginkgo gel booster and what's really special about the ginkgo is that this plant contains a lot of antioxidants that help to postpone the onset of aging signs and you can use it starting from your 20s really, just really to prolong the youthfulness of freshness of your skin. This booster also can be used either directly into your skin or you, can, or you can mix it with your favorite eye, face or body moisturizer. The BB creams are really great to finish your look. So self-named offers two different shades. One is a lighter shade, another one is medium shade. Both of these BB creams are suitable for all skin types. They will target uneven skin tone. They will have this natural looking radiant finish. And both of them have this deeply hydrating formula. So you can use these BB creams as a tinted moisturizer to finish your look and to make your skin appear more fresh, like sun-kissed even. Now, let's talk about the sun and the importance of sunscreen. So, sun is really cool, but the thing is that, yes, it kind of, it kind of keeps your D vitamin in shape, it improves your mood, but for your skin, it might not be that good. You see, the sunlight is kind of classified into UVB, UVA, and UVC light. UVB light, when it penetrates your skin, it causes the superficial sun damage 
causing redness and occurrence of dark spots such as hyperpigmentation spots. The UVA light, on the other hand, goes deeply into the skin and really helps the collagen to degrade. And when collagen degrades, we get wrinkles. So you see that sun can make you appear older. It can cause redness and dark spots. So all of those effects are not the ones that we might enjoy, right? So let's talk how to find a solution for that. So how can we protect our skin? And the protection of our skin is of course enabled by sunscreens. There are two different types of sunscreens. One are physical sunscreens such as zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Another group is chemical sunscreens such as avobenzone, oxybenzone, octanoxate and many many others. The physical sunscreens such as zinc oxide are firstly they're allowed in certified natural cosmetics according to Cosmos standards as they are derived from nature, so from natural minerals. And when you apply them on your skin, they sit on top of it and they, they work like a sun shield. So they reflect all of the sunlight and they don't get the sunlight to cause damage in your skin. What is also great about physical sunscreen is that they have this natural broad UVA and UVB protection and they work as long as they stay on, on your skin. So generally they have this longer protection span than the chemical sunscreens do. The chemical sunscreens, on the other hand, are not allowed in certified natural cosmetics as they're made in the lab. They work by turning sunlight into heat. They penetrate the skin. They might cause some sensitization of the skin. And normally a mix of a variety of chemical sunscreen uh, needs to happen for the sunscreen to protect your skin both from UVA and UVB sunlight. Plus, chemical sunscreen also gets degraded by the sun and needs to be reapplied every two hours. So you can see that the difference between these two groups is quite dramatic. And of course, we at Self Named, as we're naturally certified and really care for our sunscreens to be as safe as possible and also being derived from nature, we use physical sunscreens such as zinc oxide in our products. And here you can see the product that Self-Named offers. It's the sunscreen with SPF 30 protection. It is a little bit tinted to blend perfectly with your skin tone. It provides high level UVA and UVB sun protection, which means that it protects you from wrinkles, protects you from the redness and from the appearance of hyperpigmentation spots and generally when, when you use it, you can use it throughout the entire year and just keep your skin perfectly protected from the damaging effects that sunlight has on us. Now, let's switch to the next section and it's the body products. So let's start with the body washes. Um, generally, there are two different body wash products. First is the hand and body wash. The second one is a hydrating body wash. Both of them will gently cleanse your skin. Both of them have this hydrating formula, but what is different is the plants that are used. So in hand, hand in body wash, you will have this antioxidant blueberry extract, plus you will have free fragrance options, such as grapefruit fragrance, camellia and herbal flower fragrance. In the hydrating body wash, uh, you will have an illuminating queens extract and only one fragrance option such as sparkling rhubarb. There are two body moisturizers. One is for hands, another one is for the body. So the hydrating hand cream is there to hydrate your skin, but it's also is fastly absorbing. So you will not see that your hands are getting fatty. No, it will absorb fast and you will just feel cool. This hand cream is formulated with shea and cacao butter and infused with different berry extracts. The moisturizing body lotion, on the other hand, is more nourishing. It has richer formula to really hydrate and enrich your skin. And it's also formulated with shea and cacao butter and infused with berry extracts. Now, what I also wanted to state is that quite frequently I ask questions whether 
all of the face and body products are suitable for everyone. So I know that there are some clients of color who are concerned, concerned whether those products will be suitable for them, will they affect their skin tone anyhow? No. When you choose the face or body products for you, you only need to consider your skin type and your general preferences in terms of texture, in terms of fragrance or the active ingredients. So the self-named face and body products are suitable literally for everyone. Now, let's go to the hair section. So if you talk about the hair care, then there are two shampoo options. Uh, one is the moisturizing shampoo that is suitable for normal to dry hair and it will gently purify the hair, leaving, um, leaving the hair moisturized and also smooth and glossy. And there is also the Nourish and Voluminize shampoo that is suitable for hair that is slightly lacking volume. And this shampoo will help to proof, purify the hair and at the same time, it will give the hair a fuller look. You can also finish your hair care routine with the moisturizing conditioner. You just need to apply it to the ends of your hair and this conditioner, conditioner will improve your hair texture and will make the hair feel smoother, plus the hair will become much easier to style. Now, what is also an, quite an exciting part are the routines. So let me explain you how to put the self-name product into one routine. If we talk about any skin type, it can be normal, oily, dry or mature, it always starts with the three basic steps. It's cleansing, toning and moisturizing your skin. We have already talked about how those products are different. So you might already have some impression of what products, for, for what kind of skin type, what product is the most suitable. So I will probably not repeat that. But what is also great about making your own skincare routine is that, okay, you start with the cleansing, you follow with a toner, then with a moisturizer, but then you can kind of advance your skincare routine with adding an eye cream. For instance, there was brightening, CBD or smoothening eye cream. Then you can also use a booster. We also have three of those and you can use those boosters by adding them directly on your skin or maybe you want to add it, add it to your favorite moisturizer. And then you can finish your look with either BB cream or with a tinted SPF 30 sunscreen product. And this is a basic routine that you can make with self-named product. But what to do if you have some concerns that you want to target? Then again, you can just use the previous slide and you know, this is kind of your base. And you can just substitute some of the options in that routine to target your key skin concerns. So we have an even tone, so an even skin tone, you can use BB creams or glow facial oil. If you notice that you look quite tired, then you can use caffeine booster, you can use brightening or CBD eye cream and finish your look with the BB creams. If you feel that your skin is getting super dehydrated and maybe one moisturizer is not enough, you can use a hydrating serum at first and then apply your favorite moisturizer. If you see that you are appearing, that some first wrinkles are appearing and that you want to tackle that aging in your skin, you can use antioxidant booster and smoothening eye cream. So you can see that there are always those options that you can, that you can play with and that self-name products are mostly covering all of the most common skincare concerns. Okay, and now let's go to the sets. So I have made some eight set ideas that you might enjoy and I hope that this will get you somehow more playful about the products. So at first it's the classy set and here you can either select a micellar cleansing water and light moisturizing day cream or the cleansing mousse, hydrating toner and light moisturizing day cream. Then there are two possible options for summer and winter. 
For the summer, you might prefer lighter textures and SPF cream. So antioxidant booster, light moisturizing day cream and SPF 30 are the best to choose. In the winter, when it's cold, when it's windy, when you want to protect your skin from, from all of this negative dark environment, you can just use the creams with richer texture. So you can start your routine with CBD oil booster. You can then apply moisturizing day cream for the body. You can use moisturizing body lotion. And finally, you can also take the great care of your hands and use a hydrating hand cream. There is also an after party set for all of the people who love partying, who love staying late at night. So for you, there is this after party set that you can use the next morning after the, the great event. And you can start your routine with caffeine booster. You can then add a brightening eye cream and finish your care with the moisturizing day cream. Then if you want to add some glow to your skin to really fight this dullness, you can start with the micellar cleansing waters and with the glow facial oils and add moisturizing day cream and finally finish it all with brightening eye cream. For the CBD lovers, we also have an option and here you can use CBD oil booster with moisturizing day cream and then CBD eye cream. Of course, we probably most of us or all of us really love shower time and here are four options that you can include in that shower time set. It's of course the shampoos, the conditioners and the body wash. Remember there are like four different fragrance options that you can also choose from and the moisturizer, moisturizing body lotion to really take the great, really great hydrating care of your body. And finally, the anti-age set. So this is the longest one. And then there you can start with gentle cleansing milks and with the hydrating toners. And then you can take care of your eye area with a smoothening eye cream. Then hydrating serum comes and the anti-age day cream. So these sets are there just to inspire you. But of course, you're really kindly invited to play around and create sets of your own. Now, the last section of this presentation is certification. And I really wanted to explain this one because, well, people tend to be a little bit confused and I really want to clarify this so that you get even more confident about the products that you order from self names and you use yourself or spread around. So when it comes to certifications, there are two terms that really need to be understood. One is EcoCert and another one is Cosmos. So what is what? Well, EcoCert is a certifying organization that approves raw materials and really sees that they're of high quality and that they're really organic and natural from the origin point of view. EcoCert also certifies product formula, product packaging and product labels. So every step to really ensure that the product in the end is natural organic and that its packaging is sustainable. The Cosmos, on the other hand, is the standard that is used by EcoCert in the reviewal process. So Cosmos is a standard for natural and organic cosmetics that promotes responsible use of natural resources, sustainable sourcing of plant ingredients via organic agriculture, and sustainable manufacturing methods. In the end, when everything complies, the EcoCert awards a product with this either EcoCert Cosmos Organic or EcoCert Cosmos Natural sign. Uh, I will not explain the exact difference between these two in this presentation as it might take too long, but just know that in the Cosmos standard, there is really clear rules of what kind of product is certified as organic and what kind of product is certified as natural. Now, I know that a lot of people wonder why just 99% natural, like why it's not 100 or like why it's 99. So it's of course not the case of all of the products, but I just want to make this example. And I just need to know that the numbers here are random. So they're not referred to a specific product, it's just to make an example. And you see that um, sometimes the product can can be formulated with even 99.5% of the ingredients of natural and organic origin, but 
there are the preservatives, so synthetic preservatives. They can be even less than 1%, and uh, there is such as benzoic acid, benzyl alcohol, sodium benzoate, or potassium sorbate. And if the synthetic preservatives are used, even the smallest percentage, they still make it less than 100%. So with this example, I just wanted to, to know that if you see 99%, it's probably because there's like a little bit of synthetic preservative or a little bit of some other synthetic active ingredients that is that the formula is made with. Of course, it's nothing to be really afraid of. Uh, unfortunately, the synthetic pre preservatives are still the most effective ones, so co Cosmos standard still allows to use them in natural and organic certified cosmetics. Of course, as soon as the science comes up with the truly powerful natural organic preservatives, the entire industry will switch to them. But here's an example so you understand the situation better. Now, uh, one of the last slides here, and it's about the product fragrance. And of course, it's also important to note that the product, uh, product fragrance is also approved by EcoCert. And the scent compositions that you also find in the self-named products are made from natural extracts of flowers, herbs, woods, tree leaves. And thus, it really helps to convey this true beauty of nature. So just be sure that the fragrances in the subnamed products are not synthetic, they are truly natural. A quick note about the cosmetic ingredients, because I know that sometimes it's confusing. What is organic ingredient? What is natural ingredient? What is synthetic ingredient? And here I just wanted to clarify what is what. So organic ingredients are the ones that are normally acquired directly from plants and are sourced from organic farms. And such ingredients are, for instance, plant oils, plant extracts, floral, uh, floral waters, essential oils, and also the glycerin and alcohol are normally made with the use of organic ingredients. Natural ingredients, on the other hand, are not organic certified because they are processed plant ingredients. So processed in this, me in this case means that uh, they're not acquired directly from plants, they are rather derived for, from plants through chemical or physical processing methods. And another category is the mineral ingredients. So to make an example, it's plant waxes, the different emulsifiers and emollients that are used to create this product texture and the zinc oxide, so the sunscreen filter is also referred as natural. And finally, the synthetics. I have already mentioned that they're still used in natural and organic certified products. Of course, they must not exceed 2% in a product. It's a really strict rule. In the self-named product, it's usually much, much less, even less than 1% a lot of times. And just to remind you, it's usually either benzyl alcohol, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate, or uh, such active ingredient as salicylic acid. And salicylic acid, you know from it from the purifying toner or clarifying toner. This is the ingredient that helps to clarify your skin and reduce the breakout.